Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. So today we are going to finally start in the laundry room with some real obvious changes. I did make the door and I've got all the footage from that, but I just haven't decided whether or not I'm going to put it up because it did not turn out at all. Well, I mean, it did turn out the way I kind of expected it to, but it wasn't the way I was hoping it would, if that makes any sense. So um, I did make a pallet door to put over our uh, water heater because in a trailer the water heater is usually inside the walls or the panels and you have to take it off I don't know why they do that I guess for looks I'm not sure because the panels are supposed to be real easy to remove um, anyway we took our the wall the panels off and just left it open because um, it seems like we've had a lot of water heater issues here in the trailer so I don't know why or the double wide okay so we're gonna put this like fake tile faux tile whatever you want to call it on the back right here where you can see but first obviously I gotta clear all this mess up before I make another mess so I purchased these things on Amazon I will link them the below I did not pay I think they're $39 $32 I'm not quite sure I got them on sale so I did not pay the full price for those I don't know if I would recommend them at the full price or not um, they were okay for what they are I have no experience with this stuff whatsoever but you know what if you want to be good at something you got to suck at it first and boy howdy if that's the case then spoiler alert I, I'm gonna be a master of this um, it, it's really okay I've got to start somewhere right like I want to you know learn to do all these household projects and it's better to you know experiment and fool around with the stuff here on this double wide and with these you know inexpensive things I I don't know that seems still $40 for one of those sheets or 35 32 whatever it was seems a lot to me. Um, I think I paid 15 or 20 for them. I got them on Prime Day and there was like a huge deal on them, but I've seen a lot of other people use them. I think it's one of those things if they turn out right, they're beautiful. Um, if y'all can't hear that, that's JoJo in the background. When I said per sheet, I meant per box. It's like it was per box and there were 10 squares, I believe, 10, 10 by 10 squares in the box. Y'all know what I mean. Um, so of course I had to sweep that behind here. And it, you guys, we haven't had a litter box or litter in this room in two years, three years, two years. Um, I have pulled both the washer and dryer out behind here multiple times and there's still litter. I guess it got up underneath the wall or whatnot. I'm not really even sure because we don't even keep the, you know, fresh litter in here anymore. So anyway, so I had to take all this stuff off the wall. These bolts are really weird. Um, I am using a knife. Um, disclaimer too, this is not a how-to video. Um, this could very easily be a how-not-to video. Um, I'm just sharing my experience. I'm probably going to talk even more about like how I was feeling and stuff in this because again this was supposed to be a transformation video and of course like my entire experience on YouTube it never goes the way I planned it to or so yeah um like these walls were not even in the slightest they slant there are some large cabinets that are up here too that weren't hung properly either so that was a huge problem with the tiles because they, you know, made a big deal in the instructions about making sure it was level and everything else. And of course, I, I didn't take the time to do that. Um, yeah, these, I had to take these off too. And as you guys can see right here, that little piece, apparently the wall, there's half a piece of wall right here that goes through here. Um, that thing was not attached to anything. I took the bolts off, but it wasn't attached to anything at all. It's just kind of hanging there. Um, my husband's got to come in and fix that anyway after I've done it. So, like I said, this was very, very, I don't know. I'm going to say inexperienced, but it was more than... I was feeling really weird when I was doing that. That was kind of what I wanted to talk about. So I figured that's probably how the rest of this video is going to go. As far as the voiceover, there wasn't too much to really talk about with this because I made an awful lot of mistakes, but I'm sure I'll chime in here and there. So if you're new, um, I have ADHD. Um, the, the diagnosis was an absolute blessing just because for many years I have been diagnosed uh, multiple times with depression and anxiety, and I always kind of felt like I didn't feel like it was accurate just because it seemed like my symptoms didn't really mimic those of what I stereotypically thought came with those things but I, I do know that it you know it manifests itself in different ways so I never ruled it out but it just I don't know I just didn't feel like that's what it was so anyway when I was diagnosed it was a blessing and 
um, now I am medicated and it's been, you know, a huge, huge deal. Um, but there's still things that I struggle with from time to time. And a lot of it too is trying to figure out what is just me and what's the ADHD. So one of the positive things I have noticed since I've been medicated is uh, I don't get distracted as easily. Um, that is something I know, like even when I want to pay attention, my mind is usually hopping from the next thing to the next thing. You know, even if it's something that I'm absolutely interested in, I have a horrible time paying attention. Um, that's something I've noticed that has helped. Um, I am able to eliminate, not eliminate, but I'm able to kind of separate my thoughts, if that makes any sense. Before, they all just kind of jumbled together and hippity hoppity to one to the next. Um, with this, with projects though, this is one thing I've noticed. You know, I have a really hard time deciding what is for my ADHD and what's me just being lazy. Um, because, that, I don't know, sometimes it feels like when I don't want to do something that it's almost there's something keeping me from wanting to do it. And then other times, you know, I'm like, I just don't want to do it. You know, there's that lazy feeling, so it was really hard. This project, um, I didn't want to start it. Well, I wanted to start it, but I couldn't. And I focused more on the starting than I, you know, instead of just going ahead and getting it done. Now, this time, I can honestly say that I have had so much going on. I really didn't have the time to start it. Um, but I still obsessed over the idea for, you know, about two weeks and it's been really bothering me that I haven't got it started. So, you know, there's that. The hyper fixating is something that comes along with this. And, you know, my husband jokes a lot of times that he's like, well, I think I may have ADHD too, or maybe we all have a little ADHD. And, and yeah, that probably is very true that, you know, we all have symptoms, but it's like sometimes like I can't turn it off. Like I will, um, I don't, this is one of the things too that my, my medication has really helped with. I don't hyper fixate on problems as much as I used to. Um, and that really caused a lot of intrusive thoughts and stuff like um, something's going on and I can't handle it. Um, but I, that I can't literally handle right now. Like it's something like I can't deal with that, you know, there's no point in thinking about it right now, but even still, I'm going to think about it. It's going to consume my mind, even though I need to turn it off. Um, and now, um, you know, if I go to work and something's happened at home that was upsetting or something that I needed, you know, that I can't deal with exactly at that moment, I am able to kind of shut that part off when I go to work and not think about it. Like I'm able to focus on my job, which, you know, isn't that hard, but there's a ton of stuff to do. And it used to be that um, before I was diagnosed, if I went to work and there was a problem, I would end up having to go home or just not doing my job because I couldn't just turn those thoughts off. And you know, sometimes people are like, well, just don't think about it. Okay, for me, that, that used to, that's just, that didn't happen. You know, if I could not think about it, like that would have been, you know, that would have been so much easier. Like my, I didn't want to think about half the things that I thought about. You know, there were so many things that I would get so aggravated. It was a vicious cycle that I couldn't quit thinking about. And I didn't want to think about them and I knew I shouldn't. And I knew that there was nothing I could do about them. But they, so I was even more mad. Like I'm stressing because I can't quit thinking about things. I can't fix them. I can't, you know, so it just, you get mad about being stressed and you get mad about being worried and it would just continue and continue and continue. And uh, so that, I don't, I don't do that near as much now. I do still have some bouts where um, I feel really down and I can't quite explain it. And that might just be life. So I think that's a lot of harder thing, you know, things too. And I, I think I've been actually having like regular emotions before I used to be really good at bottling them up. And now I'm like, you know, there's certain things in life you should get sad at. And I think that, you know, that's kind of what's been going on recently. Cause I, I had a day at work where I was talking about some stuff that was stressing me out and I started to tear up. And, and if you know me in real life, I'm not a crier. Um, my kids are always shocked and surprised when I cry. And uh, I was tearing up a little bit at work to the point that it bothered me enough that I, I texted my husband and had him check my medicine to make sure that I had gotten the right, you know, the right stuff and they had messed it up at the pharmacy. And then, you know, after I thought about it, I was like, you know, these are some of the things in life that, you know, you kind of, you need to get upset about. You need to stress out about. And I've just been so used to stressing out about everything and just every little thing consuming my mind and making me upset that when, you know, now it's like when there's 
a real emotion and stuff, I'm supposed to be upset over it, you know. I used to just think anything I got upset over was ridiculous. So I don't know. So that's, anyway, so that's, that's hopefully that explains, you know, kind of how I'm feeling. But with this project specifically, it, uh, it's been kind of, it's been a test for me. I've really been trying, I don't want to be on medication for the rest of my life. And I'm not even trying to make this all about it, but it is something I would like as a goal to eventually get off of it. But um, it is possible that it will be something that, you know, will be a long-term thing. And I've come to terms with that being okay. But in the meantime, I do still want to work towards not being on it. So one of my problems is projects like this right here. I have always been all or nothing. If it was something I couldn't do in a day, then I didn't want to do it. So I have been trying really long projects or projects that take like a week or so. And I say this like I've done several of them. I've done like three or four. Um, I did the brick wall in my bedroom and then I redid my bathroom. And Joe has to paint my other side because he drew all over it with a marker. But um, so that's kind of what this laundry room was. And I tell you what, it's really been irking me that I can't get in here and do it all the way I want to because I have to work and because I don't know how to do it. That's another problem that I have. If I'm not great at something when I first start it, I don't want to do it. Um, this I suck at, you guys can't tell. I absolutely suck at. Thank you to the editing system software, all that, because it really seriously does not look anywhere, anything like it does on the film in real life. Um, this was just, I'm, I'm not like trying to be down on myself for criticizing. I'm actually really happy that I did it, even though it didn't turn out that fantastic. So, you know, I, cause you gotta start somewhere. And I have to say watching um, Morena or feel fearfully created, she is such an inspiration, you know, just watching one of her newer videos where her and her husband went back and redid a project that they had done a while back and doing it the right way, but getting to see where they have started from and now where they're at now. And I'm like, you know what? This will be something that I can do like that too, hopefully, you know, I'll do this now and then I will do a couple more projects and get a little bit more experience and then I, I'll know what to do and I can come back and do something different in here. So onto the specifics of what I did right here in this, because um, you're only going to see me do half of the wall. I had to be at work this after this, this day, but I wanted to do at least an hour in here and get some of these tiles up because I had to get started. So I was trying to really kind of test myself because I knew that I had to stop halfway and I knew that I was going to have to come back and I'm really trying not to leave any projects undone. So I knew that I was going to be bothered by the fact that it wasn't finished, but that's okay. Like I said, I'm trying to make myself, I guess, make my brain stronger, if that makes any sense. And I don't, I didn't film the second half of this and it turns out, this is big spoiler alert too, I don't actually finish this entire wall. You'll see it much more done than this, completed than this because I didn't have enough tiles. So I had to order another box. Um, but it, it turned out okay. I'm, you know, I'm happy with it. It's definitely one of those things that if, you know, when we go to sell this house and somebody goes to move the washer and dryer, they're gonna laugh and be like, oh my gosh, this was definitely a do a DIY project. <laughs> So I realized here I probably should have done a half wall, but that's okay. I wanted to go all the way down because I don't like it when, you know, people don't paint behind the washer and dryer or anything like that. So I went ahead and did it both ways. Now, like I said, on the dryer, I had a lot of problems, or the washing machine, I had a lot of problems where we've got that, you know, there was a section of wall that they had, re I don't, anyway, to each his own because I know my husband and I have done a lot of, you know, coal miner hacks on our house um, but I literally had to put the tiles over a seam in the wall because it was bolted in and if I had taken it off the wall the panel would have just fell over so anyway um, and then I like I said I ran out of tile too as well for that but that was great because I have to finish this project like I have to and it's gonna drive me nuts knowing it's undone but I have to wait so I guess I'm teaching myself patience um, I have learned not to pray for patience anymore <laughs> because then God will give me situations that I have to learn to be patient. But you know, here it is. I gave myself one because my tile won't be in until Sunday right now at this rate. But that's okay because I'm off Tuesday and I can finish it. Um, I did not measure anything here and I should have. I don't have the patience to measure and that's ridiculous. Um, I don't know why I don't. 
But like I said, lesson learned, when I go to do another wall or something else, I will figure out what I'm doing. You know, it's funny, we went running this morning and we stopped and stretched in front of this little hair salon and they had all the lights still on even though it was there and you could see back and they had done a, a whole like driftwood panel wall. I'm like, you know, that's actually really cute. I might, you know, try and do that on a room in my house. Um, and that's probably what I should have really done in here with these panels, but you know, it's fine. I had all this stuff and I went ahead and, you know, did, did what I could with what I had. So I guess this was a budget project considering, a low budget project considering, you know, the prices and things these days. It just still felt expensive to me. So, so I think I've spent about $100 total on everything in here. Um, the pallets were free for the door, but I had to buy the hardware. Uh, the paint for the laundry room, which I haven't used yet. I had already had it. It was $50, um, but it, so I don't know if you count that I paid for it or not because I didn't technically buy it for in here. Um, I bought some pieces of, like you can see that piece of wood strip to cover the seams. Um, these, those were like three or $4 a piece. And then, you know, the, the tiles. And then I bought some stain as well for the door. So it, I mean, I guess that is budget friendly considering some people will take a thousand dollars as a cheap end to a, a makeover. I guess I would rather spend that type of money on like the actual pieces in there, you know, like adding a new fixture or something. So, well, I'm gonna show you some before and after picture. Well, not before and after, but uh, when I finished this day and then you'll see another one of when I finally finished it, when I ran out of tile. I mean, then I'm, you know, and I'm sorry it's not a complete project, but I guess it's better than nothing, right, y'all? Um, so I just want to thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. I hope wherever y'all are at, you are having a blessed one, and I hope you guys were okay with this little chitty chat. I guess my Saturdays, I'm saving for my little heart to heart, so anyway, well, I can't wait to talk to y'all in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one. I know that your heart's been broken. You should try and let it go and start being yourself. You.